Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Cobalt Core, the fresh roguelike deck builder. I'm excited to be back to here today. We're going to be going back in with the final secret unlocked character once more. That's why I'm stalling on this screen in case you did not know that I did that and don't want to be spoiled. But in we go to do another run with Cat. Going to be bringing in another squad. We did a Dizzy Riggs run. Let's go for a Perry Isaac run on the Jupiter. It's been a little while since we've done it. Uh, Isaac on Jupiter is kind of fun because there's really good relics that Isaac has for Jupiter, namely like all your drones pierce, uh, and drone shift is really good to play with on it. But in we go. What do we want to get rid of? With this squad, I actually think I could get rid of the max shield, and I think it's fine. Remove a couple cards, probably. Drake and max exe. Random discount Drake and max cards. Truthfully, I think that the EXEs, like, all things considered, aren't great cards, you know? Because you get a discount card, but it's discounted by one, and it's just a random card that's in your deck forever. It's not, it's just not necessarily good. Unless we get the zero cost upgrade, then you're gaining value. I don't know. I'm curious. But I am going to remove an attack drone, because I think that that's kind of a big way to get problems on this ship. Uh, other than that... Probably removing a basic shot. Keep having another dream, cat. Yeah, this one have a cool sword, too? Yeah. Except you were the one with the sword. All right, now you've got my attention. Well, I think this sword was a metaphor. I, I don't remember the details, but we were all there. I, The world was ending, but you were holding it back. There was something wrong with you. You were different. And then I wake up. Huh. Huh. Welp. What do I do? What do I do with the Jupiter? I want to put down lunch. This is already a weird setup. This is already strange. I guess I could lunge knowing that I'm not getting the damage out of it. I feel like that's as good of a setup as we could probably expect here. Aggressive armoring is kind of legit. Especially for, like, this early on. I think we kill? No point to even put down another drone. Cool. Defensive mode. Gain a shield and a movement. And then exhaust. I mean, yeah. I guess I don't see why not. Uh, we got a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do the one that gives us the upgrade first, I guess. Or the shop first, rather. Hmm. I think making one of the making these zero costs makes them way more appealing. But also, one out of three takes some of the RNG out of it. I feel like a max dot exe is not even going to be that necessarily good. They're so they're so niche the max cards, you know. I I do want to do a run where we have cat as more of a supportive role. I think the basic shift could go, especially since we have parallel. Get rid of the Let's get rid of the basic shot. We have parry. We have parry. I think we'll be fine. Okay. Pretty easy choice there. Getting defensive mode on. What do we want? To be greedy? Get a little bit more damage? Or... Yes.
unfortunate. Okay, at least we're not going to be in range of those, but this is kind of a weird fight for us, actually. How much does that do? That does one. I think it's worth it. We kind of got to get done with this sooner than later because we don't have a good way to tackle these. I move left to, I'm taking a hit. God, this is awkward. If I stay here, you're going to be moving to the, my direction. We'll get the movement. It's fine. You should be moving this way. Okay, good. Oh, for the love of God. My only attack puts me in danger. We could... Break in this, which helps. Yeah, I guess we just gotta do a little bit of setup. Okay, good. Even if I take a smack in here... I just feel like I really need to <laughs> get a move on. Uh, are we attacking all three? Oh, we are. Okay, good. Great. Draw every cat card in the pile. Wait. Oh, but Barrage. We did have a driver. We don't have... I mean, every cat card, it's like every one of these. And the... It's... We don't have a build for that yet. I think we go for Barrage. I think that sounds really fun with this. A little bit of a mistake, probably. God, I wish I could flip it. God, I hate it. I hate it, but I feel like I need to do... S this is the thing <clears throat> with the Jupiter... You have to do a couple turns that honestly kind of suck. Before you can do some turns that honestly don't suck. Okay, um, I'm leaning towards, so we have a movement, Jupiter, movement, Jupiter's drone, multi-shot. necessarily need to be saved there, but it's like... Eh. Love that. See, that's a good Drake card. Oh, baby. God, I love that. God, I love that. Extra battery? Another defensive? Honestly? Yeah. I have no problem with that. We don't have that much shielding, so like the fact that it's kind of an exhaust card, it works sort of well. You move to the left, which means you'll put your gun here. Let 
very strange. Oh no, he puts it. That's okay. Perfect. All right, good. Would we have? We would have dodged it with barrage as well. Yeah, the big issue here being our lack of max shields. Maximum shields, that is. Aggressive armoring should be good. Like, do I play this to get it out of there? I think the answer is yes. Cut. I hate you. He moves so far. God, stop it. One, one, two, one, two, three. I, all right. All right, screw you. Boin. I could have done reroute. I could have played with that a little bit. It gives us autopilot, which is... Ooh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's right. It goes left to right, so that, that actually throws a wrench in things. Oh, that's... It's all weird. It's all weird on this. What's this? Temporary cards cost one less. Oh, Pog Champ. That's very interesting. Your first attack each turn pierces. That's great. It's a worse version of the Isaac one I hope to get. More practice, huh? Oh, boy. Seems good. We have to keep in mind that, you know, we've generated some heat. And thus, we must get out of the kitchen. To temp shield, add a temporary worm card to your disco pile. Oh, boy. I don't really, I don't really want a shield to block stuff in this fight. I feel like that's kind of a mistake. Oh my god, Jupiter's Moon is a temporary card. That's right. Interesting. Interesting. That immediately makes that much better, and it was already good. One... Two, three. This is crazy. It's worth it, I think. Boop, boop, boop. Whenever the ship attacks, it gains a temp shield. On this, does that... 
on this does that on this does that you know what i'm saying do you get what i'm saying what the hell am i saying uh after your first attack you turn gain a stun charge you may remove, remove two it's oh boy This is such a tough one. I actually love Jettison Hatch. That's a that's a tough one though. Sure. Welcome to Spike Two's domain. Oh, this is the retaliation boy. This is a problem. Shuffle shot is good. You want to do it just to get rid of it in a way? No, we kind of like a thicker deck on this. Because of safety override possibly ruining my life. Potentially. Incoming danger. Please move to the empty spot. That's terrifying. Iframes. Lose a hull. The ship can't take hull damage. Decreases by one at the start of the turn. That's super cool. Uh, I can't take it right now. Jack of all trades. I mean, how could I not like it, but I don't think I... Okay, now we can get... Good, we can get both. Here's the question. Do I agree? I think I can get rid of basic block. I'm leaning towards getting rid of uh, max.exe. Arguably, drake.exe as well. And just utilizing, like, the quick fix. I mean, but that this synergizes with those to an extent... I think we can get rid of a uh, basic shift. And we'll get rid of a basic block, and then we can maybe upgrade one of these to be permanent. I think that's a good call. I mean, we can't, obviously can't do that right now. We don't need basic shift when we have a uh, parallel shift. But yeah, with only two max shields, it's kind of like, I mean, well, why would I care about some of that, right? We have a lunge. Okay. Pop a squat. I'm curious if I get a temp shield. I do. Is that because... Is that because it worked on itself or no? Uh-oh, here. Of that. Love that. Boop, 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 boop. All right, we might be, uh, might be all good here in a second. I wish we had another attack so we could get the stun off there, but still. Cannot be mad.
Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I was hoping for something like that. That worked well. Great. Um... Let's just get the hell out of there. <laughs> All right. Wee. For science. Well, you're probably dead, aren't you? Oh, man. I, no, look at that. We got three temp shield. It totally works the way it works. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> draw every cat card in the draw pile. Um... Oh, temp fix. Buoyant exhaust? No, I don't. I, I like the... Well, there's something, there's something about it that's actually kind of interesting. I feel like AI overflow is, is worth it. Replace your Jupiter drones with zero cost Jupiter drones. I mean, hey, there's that. Energy every time you destroy a mid-row object is potentially great it does mean we have to like we get an energy when we throw a drone into a drone which if we if we had well if we had infinite draw then we'd be infinite anyways all right if my grandma had wheels she'd be a bike um hmm this is really good, but also Quick Fix is kind of doing that already. I guess I'll go for Warp Mastery. I think Salvage Arm is fantastic, but it's better on ships that can attack the mid-row. I can't attack the mid-row. A little bit of stun action there, too. This is looking good. This is looking good. Just kind of want to get rid of it. Solar Breeze is legit. Solar Breeze on this ship is incredible. Because if we have... If we place Quick Fix, what we can do is Quick Fix, uh, Jupiter Drone, Solar Breeze, Jupiter Drone. For zero mana, we have summoned two Jupiter Drones. That's fantastic. So now, yeah, I think we are looking to trim things down. My brain itches. You again. What do you value most? Healing, damage, evasion. For, for this, I think we gotta go. I think we gotta. So yeah, quick fix. Jupiter Moon, Max .exe. We can go for something a little bit bigger normally. Leftmost card for free, and then a, exhaust it. necessarily want dice roll right now, so sure. Do that, and then we'll put it in front of me. And figure out where we go from there. I 
didn't I just didn't remember if that was gonna stun or not, so I didn't wanna. Okay. So we can go draw every cat card, see if we can get I just like I I think I'm just fine with it there. We solar breeze, we get another Jupiter's moons, we get really good setup. Uh let's trim the deck down a bit. Not get greedy with it. Lol? I'm not going to waste Ephemeral Blast on that. He's going to come over here. You get over there. You get over there. You would... All that would be stunned anyways. Temp Dizzy. Sidestep's not bad. I just can't really add stuff at the moment. What would I get rid of if I got rid of a thing? Well, I, I don't know. I think that what I would want to do is upgrade Flux A... I mean, Barrage A or B sound really stupid here in a great way. Multi-shot A. Piercing. I'm like, yeah, I'm not wowed by these right now. I kind of think I want to... I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... I'm going to use Cat in a different way today. We played with the EXCs a lot. We're going to trim them and Cat is going to be like a kind of more weird supportive character. Now look at this. Quick fix. Jupiter's Moons, Solar Breeze, Jupiter's Moons. Hell, we can even do this and then um, turn off both of those. Unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Speaking of unbelievably good, that would be, but... Getting three shields at the start of combat when we have two max shields is very funny. That's not lost on me. Every cat card in the draw pile? No way. Honestly, get rid of it at this point. We, we, we just started looking for, like, one big blast here. Um, it's a little bit weird, but we actually have lethal, right? Yeah, okay. It's three damage. Discount parry card. Uh, you know, I could see a discount parry card with quick fix. I could see that being interesting. I could see that being interesting for sure. Utilizing quick fix to get a discount. I actually... Let's do it. Let's do it. Since we removed the other EXEs, adapt to planning one max all and heal one every time. I mean, I'm not going to say no to it, but also it's a little late. Honestly, there's not like a bunch of a good reason to... Accept his terms, but sure. It's basically two of the same. Because either way, we're moving. Oh, you. Doing my best to protect you. You're gonna move in front of my freaking drones, aren't you? Just, just, would you please? Just. I could, I could cause such a war crime right here. It's not even funny. <laughs> oh, what a war crime that is. What are you gonna do? Stop me? 
brigand scoundrel. You've broken the sacred pact and you shall pay in return. War crime. Uh, absolutely unnecessary war crime. Another quick fix sounds good. I think having two of them is not a bad call. Two in the same hand is obviously bad. God, I wish I had a draw. Don't have another attack. I could just do this for the sake of it, basically. Just get a whopping damage out there. Yeah, it's a weird one. I don't love this for us, but I think it's fine. We have one drone shift. I think I think we just accept that, because then he'll at least probably try and move to the right here, which will maybe have him be in line of both of my things. Okay, so yeah, no, that, that that does only give me the one. Good. Get rid of one of those. Jupiter's moons just to break this, just for fun. Sure. Because then we just put out another one of these. If we get a bunch of abyssal visions, it'll be a problem, but we didn't, so it's fine. All right. Cool. Just a silly little build. Just a silly little build. Uh, This is... Hilariously, nothing on Jupiter Jones. Uh, Jack of all trades, not bad. Rigs.exe, I could see myself wanting. Rigs.exe with a discount. Uh, There you go. All of my attacks pierce. I don't... I don't love lunch, and honestly, I'm not loving flux now that I know that it doesn't necessarily work. We're trimming things down. We, we want our multi-strikes because our multi-strikes can just stun immediately. beginning of the fight. Let's trim that down now. What well, we can. Okay. Jupiter drone. Let's get a rigs card. Give me a draw. Anything with draw. Options is good. Multi-strike of some kind.
This was, in fact, ungood. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's the problem with Quick Fix. Now that we have a, uh, a thinner deck, I think that Quick Fix is unnecessary. I think we're going to pop that for safety precautions. Move this. Options. Because we can always move that back. That's the thing. is, It's, it's a net neutral, but we can always just move it back. All right. Jupiter's moons. Oh, wait. Oh, if you have two of them, it lasts for another turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All righty. All righty. All righty. Okay. 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 I, are you dead this turn? <laughs> no, just inside. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, now that I realize that, it's not it's not necessarily a problem to have two of them now. I now realize if we could have a uh, like a rigs card attack damage one for every in hand. I mean, it's not bad. Um Table flip works on these and barrage, so it's actually kind of appealing. Prism we used yesterday and we also don't have that many colors in my deck. I guess we skip. Start of combat, gain a power drive for an extra damage. Second turn of combat, your enemy also gains that. That could be good. It's too late for Genesis. Sure. We start with an extra damage. I mean, that doubles a lot of our damage output. Void's Cradle. Okay. I just want to draw a card from you. Why is that so hard? Could probably get rid of the defensive modes too, truthfully. Apparently. Just filthy. Just filthy gross. Um. It's just fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We want to go for the top, I think. So this is discount. Ooh, getting a discount to multi blast. Certainly sounds good to me. We got a draw shot with the discount. Gang. That's that's the thing. set up. It's free. That's... Why do you want draw so much? Why do you keep talking about draw so much? Boom! Bang! Boom! Look at that. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. If anything could ruin my life, I think I just found it. One, two, three, four. Oh, and with the power up, this sucks so bad. One, two, three, four. Because I want to get a drone out. 
I think I need to save my movement. I'm going to literally, I'm going to take the shield just because of how bad I know this is going to be for us. Save that for when we really need it. Okay. This is concerning. I think we want to... Do we want to Solar Breeze first? How much movement do we have? Not enough. Wait, we move, we Jupiter's Moons, we Solar Breeze. They're both there. We get to block them both, and if I'm wrong, I die. It's just as simple as that. All right. Oh, beautiful. Thank God. Thank God. This could have gone so bad. This could have gone so bad. Gain attempt shield plus one for... Oh, that's kind of fun. I don't need it. Oh. Okay. We even have that piercing, so we don't have to even care about the shield. I didn't know if that would work. Okay. 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 We take those. We should, should be dead. Okay. Not that I need to, but let's... Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. Uh, quick fix B. Rev the engines B. I mean, it's it's not that it's bad. I just I don't think I need it. Basic shot cards doing extra damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. I could get rid of a quick fix, but again, that means I have... I've got full right now. I could get rid of the random parry card. And a defensive mode. But this could end up going super well. Well, I've already, I'm, I'm locked in now. We get rid of a parallel shift being more likely to get a solar breeze being the main thing. It's like, when we trim down, we're more likely to get a solar breeze. And that solar breeze is a lot better right now. And defensive mode eats us on the first turn. A second quick fix is... 
It depends. If I get a draw Riggs card on the final fight, we, we, we win. It just doesn't matter. I just feel like I can't... Since these exhaust, that's the problem. Hope you didn't need this. Me too. Start of combat, gain a glissade. Hey. Should be fine. I'm going to do this first because we need to get these, sir. Jupiter's drone. A little multi shot for fun. A little lunge for fun. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's a lot of health all of a sudden. Three drone shift on the first turn. I mean, it's definitely way better than the other thing. That's actually really good. Fantastic. Oh, this stinker. I think we're infinite. If we get a zero cost, we get a lunge, okay. Oops. Yeah, we're infinite. Sir. This is, this is absurd. Do I need to do this? No. But this is funny. Oops, I beefed it. But also, it doesn't matter. Lunge is free, by the way, too. By the way, lunge is free. So, um, another solar breeze is, doesn't hurt. It hurts a little, but... It basically means we have to get... I, I, I almost think that I... Upgrade Riggs EXE to get more options so that I can possibly be more likely to get the infinites, basically, the whole thing here. We want to do Solar Breeze for... Oh, shoot. That's not good. That's not good! Not the first turn we were looking for. Do I take this hit? This is 
four if I move left I'm taking three I could obviously block something with the Jupiter drone but I don't think that that makes any sense I'm willing to take this hit right now I think it's just okay all right moment of truth anything withdraw that's a crying shame that is a crying shame Evasive shot is definitely going to be helpful. Prepare. Prepare's really interesting at a discount. Alright. Uh... Same kind of thing. I think I'd just like to set up. But it's a shame we don't get the infinite, but that's fine. We'll just have to play the fight kind of normal. And by kind of normal, I mean no. Not really. Okay. Normal, by the way. Normal, by the way. The fact that we're just fine already if we do this is... Just kind of crazy. No, not to matter. We, we, we actually just win. <laughs> we win. <laughs> oh, boy, cat. Do not hit the big red button. We've already done the big red button. I wish it would just... Yeah. I wish it wouldn't say question mark. Maybe that's... I think that's all it is. I, I wish it wouldn't say question. Uh, That was dumb. That was very dumb. The thing is, yeah, I, I mean, well, but you can't guarantee if we had another rigs card, another rigs.exe, yeah, we could have probably broke things even more. We could have, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy. I, I think, yeah, Cat can definitely break the game in fun new ways. Uh, but, yeah, let's check. Not run his progress? No, not progress. Uh, logbook. There we go. I mean, I mean, dang. It's a lot of stuff there. We've got, if we wanted to do everything, we got so many left. I will tell you right now, I'm not committing to the whatever hundred-ish runs that it'll take to do all of these. But there's definitely a lot of things that are still on the table. Uh, that we have not played with, and I'm really excited about that. Not to mention the fact that I definitely feel like there's there's more of Cat to explore. There's like, there's relics or, or artifacts. Let's see. Yeah, I'm really curious. There's only four for what it's worth. That's actually, that's very interesting. There's a couple rigs ones we haven't taken. We've taken all of Dizzy's. Is this we haven't seen or we haven't taken them? I don't know. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.